Hi there guys, I'm John from ActiveJR and for those of you who've been watching my channel over the last couple of weeks uh, will have noticed I've been doing uh, a video series on the Garmin Phoenix 5. Over the last week or so I've been extensively looking at the Phoenix 5X in preparation for a review that will be coming out uh, very soon and I've been looking at the mapping features. Now some of the videos have got some uh, glimpses of the maps and I've done a quick overview and I've had a number of questions in the comments and across other social platforms do the maps have terrain contours? Now, for those of you that are hikers or people that are outdoorsy people will know what they are, and, and that's probably why you're watching this video. I can say, based on the unit that I've got, and this is a retail unit that I bought myself from Cotswold Outdoors, this does not have contoured maps. Now, I've looked at the Garmin website, and I've looked at the maps that, sh that come with the device, and they should have contours on the maps. I've reached out to Garmin and I'm still waiting for a response but in the interim what I've been doing is I've been doing my own research and my own investigation and I found a website which uh, offers paid and free maps and I've installed one of these maps from this website and uh, it works. As you can see from this image, this is the image with the Garmin maps and this is the image with the ones I'm going to show you to install. You can see the contours are there. Now this is an image uh, from an area in the Peak District and as you can see, there is a lot of elevation and there's contours to show that. I just want to make a quick disclaimer. I'm going to show you how to do this. I've tested it extensively multiple times and I've used the watch after and I've had no issues. However, I'm not responsible for any damage you do to your watch or the software by installing these maps. Now, they should be okay because they've been installed on other Garmin devices and it's a website that's been going for a long time. One final thing I want to point out is the if you use the around me feature you will notice some of the points of interest will disappear from the actual maps now the maps are more detailed in terms of uh, elevation in terms of uh, features and they'll look more like ordinary survey maps or similar to the os um, uh, discovery maps on garmin which are pretty expensive but the, um, uh, in most cases, they're free from this website. So before we go into the main video, uh, as, as always, uh, I should subscribe to my channel because I've got plenty of videos coming out. And throughout this video, if you like this video, please like it below. And uh, finally, in the description, there is some links to um, uh, retailers in the UK and the US that stock the Phoenix 5, Phoenix 5X, and the Phoenix 5S. So if, you, uh, if you're in the market for a new watch and you really like the Phoenix 5, uh, please support Active JR and please use the links below. Thanks very much and uh, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so here we go. <clears throat> First of all, you can use Google to find uh, Toki Toaster and as you can see it comes up there. There's also a link in the description below um, to uh, this website. You click on the link and it takes you to um, uh, Toki Toaster. So there's several options, or there's two options, not several, there's two options. There's either uh, the free maps or there is uh, the maps which you can buy. Now, I've personally bought some maps. They're only £10, um, and the reason I bought them is because uh, I wanted to uh, support this guy. Again, I've got no affiliation to him, um, but uh, the maps are really good, and they're considerably cheaper than the Garmin Discovery maps. But if you want to use the free maps, you go here, and I'm going to select British Isles and Ireland. You select on this. And then uh, you go down to the bottom, and if you want them with contours, and that's what this video is all about, you select these maps for use with Garmin GPS and Basecamp, Routable plus contours, and you just download. Now, check the download bar. Now, in this particular case, it's going to take three minutes. Um, so what I'm going to do is skip forward to the installation part and just show you that. Okay, once it's downloaded, you then, um, you can do this different ways. What I tend to do is, is create a folder on the desktop. In this case, I've called it map. And you, um, I put the file in there. I've already done this prior to uh, starting making this video. Uh, so you see here, I've got the file that I downloaded and it's the, it's, it's, it ends in IMG. Don't need to click on it. Don't need to do anything with it. Uh, just leave it as it is right now. You then plug in your Garmin Phoenix 5X into your computer via the USB cable. And then you'll see down here, once you've done that, you have a folder which is called Garmin. And on a Mac, this is what it would look like. I then right click to open in a new tab. So open up in a new tab and you've got the Garmin folder. You just go in here. 
Now you've got loads of different files, um, but it's pretty simple. All you do, you go back to the map folder and you drag across this folder into anywhere in there and then it copies across. So this will take roughly the same time as the download uh, took. So again, what I'll do is I will come back, uh, but when I'm coming back, I'll be showing you what, uh, what I'm doing on the device. Okay, so then once that's finished, we then get the Phoenix 5X, lift that up, and uh, you see here, you then pull the back out, and it should show this screen now, loading maps. It will then come back to this screen here. So I'm just gonna quickly now show you the maps and you'll hopefully notice a difference between what you get on your map and what is on this map loading and there we go full contour maps see a lot more detail okay so that's the end of the video if you've liked this video please like it below and also subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below and let me know how you get on installing the maps. Thanks very much, speak to you soon.